Today is Darby's birthday. We're gonna start this video off a little bit different. I've never seen someone fake a tag Hoyer before. We're gonna have to go see Fabian today. Okay, so I looked at it right away. It's no good. No good? No. As you guys know, we are down to salespeople. I'm not gonna keep people around. They're not willing to work, and if I can't trust them. Today we are at the San Clemente car show. We're gonna walk around and car shop. I mean, look at cars. It's kinda interesting to see what kind of watches we see out here today. It's got to match the rest of the fleet, so black. Well, this one's actually not black. Check this out. Oh! Oh! now of working trying to find the uh, perfect merchandise perfect vendor perfect quality everything I think I finally have almost final samples are final samples but there's like <clears throat> what Jimmy was telling me is there's several different variations I have to pick between colors Timepiece Gentleman printed around the cap. And then you've got the branded drawstrings, gold tips. One of the things at the end, you've got TPG logo, zipper pockets, but also with gold tips. Both of the cuffs have our initials on them. And then the back, it's gonna say buy, sell, trade, luxury watches, limited release. This is number one. These will be my stuff. And then everything after that, we're gonna label these by drops. So no, 001 is the first uh, sample product. The first actual drop that's released to the public will be 002. It's two different styles of zipper. I like the exposed. By the way, Yo. yes, this is Jimmy. He is my partner on this as well. Yo, what up? Not too much yourself. Good, just opening up all this stuff. Finally got it, huh? Finally. Uh, one of them has an exposed zipper, the other has a hidden zipper, which it does look clean. I just like the exposed zipper better. Can you send me the, the picture of the one that you do like? Yes. Take a look at the coloring. Are all of the hoodies and shirts the same color, or are there different shades of cream there, or black? They look all the same? Bro, the barcode works. That's awesome. Yeah, of course, bro. Hey, let me just open all the hoodies real quick. What about the fit? How does it fit? I haven't put it on yet. How does it feel? It feels awesome. It feels exactly like Cessna mouth. It's the same factory that does um, Balenciaga. Nice. Yeah. What do you think, guys? So on the white ones, they sent the same. One has a an exposed zipper pocket. One has the covered. The covered is all white, but the exposed one, I'll send you a picture, is black, which I actually- I like the black. You like you do? I like the black because it's contrasty. I like the black on that. It just it adds- Are you happy with the, some of it, you know? Oh, dude, I'm happy with all of it. I think, he, I think he just sent, I think he was really just sending, like for the hoodies, I think it's just two different zipper options. Now, the problem that we have with our shirts when they were too long, the your shirt is completely different because our shirt is a normal shirt where you have the drop cut like kind of like built where it kind of like rounds and goes a little bit longer. They sent me two shirts. One, the quality on like on both of them feels good. This one feels like it's more the stretchy material. Yeah, Actually, yeah. So that, there's one that's like $17 a shirt and there's one that's $13 a shirt. The one that feels stretchier, that feels a little bit nicer, is like 17 bucks. It's got that uh, that rounded cut at the bottom as well. Yeah, can you, can you try it on and see the fit, how it feels? Yeah, it's a small, so let me see real quick. Hang on. 
Dude, I love this. Nice. Dude, the white one looks sharp with those watches in black. You said there's 17 a shirt is our cost? I think so, yeah. Is that based on ordering a certain amount or does it, if I order a lot more, can I get that down? Yeah, it, it all depends on the quantity that you purchase. Find out how many I need to order to get them down to 10. Honestly, the first, the entire first order I do is going to be all giveaways. Giveaways, influencers, marketing, all that. I'm not even going to sell until the second drop. My launch for it is going to be like the first order. I think just place a massive order and give it all out to clients, friends, fans, stuff like that. That way it starts trickling around on social media and starts self-hyping it up. Do you want to help yeah. me? These are all consignments that came in from like the last week. I got, they got shipped on Saturday. Oh, nice. It's the first time I've actually seen this one in person. Oh, I love that green. AP. Wow. It's the AP Diver Offshore. That's the new one. Right now, market price on these is low 40, low to mid 40s. And then it's got an extra strap in here. Some Batman. Been selling a lot of these lately. It's the new reference 126610 one, BLNR. The new movement. And that's already sold. Real quick, uh, here's a note for everybody watching. I've, I've said it before, some people don't see it. Uh, when you ship watches like this and they're placed inside here, the problem with that right there is that little green hang tag. This one's stickered, so it actually got lucky. This one has stickers in the class, but when you place this green hang tag in there and you set your watch in on it, your watch will constantly rub against that as it's getting shipped and moved around. So then a brand new watch shows up and it has little hairlines on the clasp. So best thing to do if you're gonna ship it like that is just place it on the side or just simply like open it up right there and throw it in there. It'll keep from uh, damaging your watch. What'd you get? Yeah, it's so pretty. Rose Gold Lady Datejust with a chocolate lonely dial. Another Batman. Did we sell two? Another new reference Batman reference 126710 R. Anthony, it's like three to your one. Right I know. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> the stress. A little. 26 millimeter ladies oyster perpetual with the pink towel. Market price on this right now is somewhere around like five grand. Um, okay, so this is the Vacheron Constantin overseas 7900V dual time with the blue dial. These have gone up crazy in value lately and are actually, in my opinion, still undervalued. Hey, yo. Did you see the bank account? Not yet, why? Shopify charged us back 96,000 for some transition. This is the one that, they charged us back? What do you mean? Like, deducted 96,000 from the account. And I don't know what that's for. Dude, it's for a charge that Grand Caliber clients had. I told Jimmy about this last week, they sent us a notification. Why would they, how can they automatically just pull money like that? We don't sell anything on I know, but the website, so I'm assuming that's not us. No, it's from Grand Caliber. They sent me a notification. I told Jimmy, I was like, look, one of your clients is trying to charge something back on Shopify. Can we? Because our account, because of the domain, it's the Shopify that huh? they used to use because it was all oh. the timepiece gentlemen. So they built our temporary website on their Shopify account. but. Can we call Jimmy and double check? No, no, that's okay. <laughs> we have to fix that ASAP. Yo. Hey, remember that uh, notification I sent you a screenshot of that one of y'all's clients was trying to charge something back? Yeah. It just debited our account for $96,057. Well, we talked to the client. I had a text message, text message showing. I know. Uh, he said that he, he didn't make that charge back. Can you text me his number? I'm going to call him right now because you sent me screenshots. Like he admitted that, that, that he wasn't trying to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, somebody somebody opened that claim, and they're still pushing it through because it just debited out of my account. So well, let me we look have at a text shop. message from him saying that he that we got a dispute for 96k. He says, "Hey, brother, no, I didn't know about that. Let me check tomorrow with my credit card. It's for sure of his understanding." And he said, "Yeah, everything's okay. Plus, we have invoices and tracking number. I guess that's when you that's when we." That's back when we were together on the same right. website, right? The order was from Trent Robinson captured the payment on March 15th. On May 24th, the customer opened an inquiry for $96,015. June 10th, 96000 will be deducted from your next payout because yeah, of the charge back. Yeah, that's when we were all gentlemen timepieces, so it came up on that platform. But like I said, I have the, the tracking numbers, the invoices, we sent him the watch, and I have text messages from him saying that it wasn't him that did the chargeback. Find the shipping label that y'all use and the tracking number so I can upload all this stuff. And I can, yep. uh, but I'm, will you text me his number? I'm gonna call him right now. Yeah, I'll text it to you. All right, thank you. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. Right, hey, What's up, Evan? Everything good? I'm good, man. Um, I had a couple questions. Okay, so back in March, you bought three watches or so from, it was Gentleman Timepieces back then, but I was already kind of split off doing my own thing. I think you bought it from Alfred. Uh, I did, yes, correct. And the total was 96,000 paid with a, an American Express? That is correct, yes. You got the watches, right? And they were all good? Yes, I did. Okay, so the reason I was, I'm calling is because when they ring that up, they ring it up through the Shopify webpage. That's now my Shopify webpage, and somebody opened a, uh, yeah, a, a chargeback. Told me, uh, Alfred told me I already solved it, so I called MX about it because there was an issue with my credit with the credit card of the company, and there was a fraudulent of transactions, and they passed this credit card as a leak. On Monday, May 30th, we called and we. we Called the credit card and it said it was soft and it dropped the claim. Yeah, the problem is today it's still an open chargeback with Shopify and they actually debited my account ninety six thousand dollars this morning. Okay. Um, which it, it's a process and I, I'm glad I've got you on the phone. So what I'm gonna need to do is I have to go through Shopify's uh, portal and I've got to like provide invoice and. Uh, tracking number and the label and everything. I'll send you an email with the invoice number and the tracking number and the, the specifics of the two watches. Could you just send me an email back stating that, you know, you like are... Like management saying, yeah, everything's okay? Yes, like your name, yeah, your course, payment, like... No problem, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What I would need is I would need your name, address, where it was shipped, the credit card number that you paid, like, so your Amex number. And then just you know, just verifying that these watches were shipped to you, they were good, that this purchase was legitimate and was completed on our end. Let's do it, brother. Whatever you guys need from my own, I'll help you. All good, man. All good. We'll get it figured out. But I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, my brother. Send me the email. I'll reply to it and get from there. All right, I'm doing it right now. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Where's Liz? Oh my gosh. Oh, she doesn't have her phone. So this is supposed to be a serious talk, kind of, but everyone keeps joking and making me laugh. So we're gonna make it not as serious. It's a serious thing, but it's not like, some people are gonna think it's the end of the world. Yeah. I think it's the beginning of our new world. Hey, still How are you? good. Okay. Yes. Cause I know that you need it for tomorrow. That's like why, that's why I'm calling you, you know? Yours, what it's year is yours? 4 p.m. here. Your, yours might be too uh, old is the only thing. I think he wants like a newer one, like closer to the end of uh, right before it got discontinued. I'll know like in the next 30 or 40 minutes. Okay. Cool. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hi, Liz. So, hi. Okay. <laughs> Join us. Is your hair good? Yeah. Can we get a close up? Yeah. We've been here waiting for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. I called you, your phone's right here. Looks good though, right? Can we get a close up on that just so everyone knows? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, sorry, but I'm still laughing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't. I'm just blown so out way. a serious oh conversation. <laughs> this is this supposed to be a serious talk and nobody's telling me how you want my reaction. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs>
Guys, we're getting rid of the penthouse. There. The potential for this space, what it was supposed to become, was gonna be amazing. I am the kind of person that sees something and I'm very impulsive. I immediately like see the end. When I jumped into this penthouse, I was impulsively acting. I didn't think about all the things that could have gone wrong. The investor pausing, Dallas not paying me, the watch market correct. So I've had three pretty, pretty significant things happen and to a point where coming to LA, I sold my entire watch collection to put the money into this. I've spent most of the money getting to this point. I was banking on the fact of the investor coming in and Dallas paying me <clears throat> or one of the other. I could, have, I could have made it work with one or the other. Neither have happened. So that puts me in a spot where I either have to, I have to decide to keep stretching it and hope that one of those payouts come. Also hope that the watch market picks back up, which it is. I keep on paying the rent here. I, we just keep on pushing forward until one of those things happen and then I finish out the penthouse or I have to bite the bullet, cut my losses and go back to the original idea. Z and I spent the weekend running a lot of, you know, a couple different mock scenarios, budgets, everything. As amazing as I still think this could be, I think the smarter idea is to cut my losses and take it back to what the plan was when I first had the idea to expand to LA, which was start small, have a little office in Beverly Hills, you know, be mobile, be flexible to move around, keep our operational cost extremely low, focus on volume, focus on building the name, establishing the brand, you know, actually walking before we run. I, I made a mistake and I jumped into running. I went all in, I sold my collection, I went all in on this and it didn't work out. So I'm, the bad is I'm taking a pretty significant loss personally, the good, is I'm taking a pretty significant loss personally, so I'm not losing anybody else's money. It's gonna sting for me, but it's also, in a sense, I don't know what the word is, like if it's humbling or if I'm like actually relieved. You know, when you think of someone, and I'll just put the number out there, almost a almost million dollars is what this is gonna cost me to get out of all this. When you think about losing that kind of money in such a short time frame, majority of people would be devastated. Believe it or not, I'm actually relieved. It's it's a stressor not knowing when things are going to turn around or when money is going to come in. I, I've, I've reached out to our realtor to look at some ideas on, on cost. The office space we were looking at before was like $13,000. If we go back to that and cut, just cut the expense of this out, it takes our entire, entire operation, you guys, salaries, the housing, insurance, security, everything to just over what this place costs. I've already gotten in talks with the building to figure out what it's gonna cost and how we can get out of this lease, but be prepared for us to be out of here by the end of the month. Tomorrow, I have an appointment. Actually, Liz, Brian, Z, Darby, and George, I want y'all to come with me. We're gonna look at a couple office spaces. One of them I actually looked at before, and I think it's in the same building where I was gonna sign a lease. So we're gonna go look at a couple of those spaces and see they're right near Rodeo Drive. They're small, they're intimate, they're at, I mean, it's, it's what we need, it's all we need. That's what we're gonna do is go back to just, what do we need, let's focus on volume, let's build this brand, and let's, let's just start over again from scratch. I don't know, it's like, it, this was fun. It was, I mean, it was an experience. And one thing I'll say is this was an experience. It, it was fun for a couple months while we've done it, but I think I'm more excited to go back. You know, the fun, the fun of building a business is like not being done. It's like starting back from scratch and going through all those little things, like the tiny little gross. We came here and it was just like, boom. Mm -hmm. The biggest and the, the most extravagant you can go without any like building stones. So I want to go back to that. Let's just build from the ground up. I think it'd be great. Also like the idea of having a little bit more of an intimate setting. Yeah. Because we all end up right here anyways. Right. You know, we have this huge space. We all end up sitting with each other anyways. Right. I'm excited. I know we're joking a lot and like people are going to rip us to shreds and I don't care. Do not worry about what's said on social media. The call I'm making, what this does, we lose the penthouse. Who cares? Everyone has their job. I think we have a good team. We're gonna keep it here. I'm not hiring anymore right now. We have a photographer starting on July 1st, so we will have, that's the only other position that we have 
being filled. We've pretty much gotten all of the back end like kind of the systems. We have a good process that comes in. Consignments are picking up very well. I don't know, I think we have a good team. So I'll look at office space and I'll pick something in the first couple days just to get us into something and we'll get over there and get started. <laughs>
this guy says he doesn't have a partner on the watch, but now he does have a partner on the watch and the other guy has it. But then this guy says that it's his partner's watch and the other guy has it. So basically if two negatives equal positive and there's no partners, there's no watch, it just, I don't know, it's a Flugazi. <laughs> She's confusing. It's way too early to be this stressed. And there was a thunderstorm last night. I thought there was an explosion. That was actually kind of cool. The first time I've heard. I thought it was an explosion and there was no rain, so. The baby woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah. So I got up and then I first rumble and then second one, I was like, what the hell is going on? And it was just going off completely all night. I was in bed at 8.45 last night, so I slept through all of it. Anthony. How are you, buddy? Long time no see. I know, man. I uh, was calling to see how things were. I was thinking about uh, selling my, my Panda, stainless steel Panda, and I have the same watch in black. The Panda is uh, 2018, been lightly worn, you know, no scratches and stuff. You recall my... Yeah, your stuff always comes like mint to us. So 2018 yep. Panda, what year's the black one? 2020. Is it the old style card or is it the new solid green card? Uh, I don't have that in front of me. I think it. I think it's a new card. Let's assume old card because then it can only get better. 35. 35 range. Uh, 2020 black Daytona. 30 to 31. 31. 30 to 30 to 31 on the black. 30. Uh, let's give a range on the white, 34 to 35. My fee is 5%, so let's just assume that the package sells for 30000 and 34000 My fee for both of them would be 3200 That's if you sell it at 30000 and 34000 Now, obviously, I'll try to get thirty-one and thirty-five, which nets you a couple of grand more, which is only a difference of $100. So, one question I had, I know 30% lower than what... Chrono says they're worth, and I do have it marked as used on Chrono. We get spotty reception in this place. Um, yeah. What I was saying is you've got to find a comp that's equal, like, you know, same year, same condition, and then yeah. the lowest price comp for that spec, and then take 7% off immediately. That's the fee that people have to mark these watches up just to cover their cost to sell on Chrono. And then you're at, you're at a baseline asking price. Well, it still hasn't sold, so you've got to deduct I'd say another 5% minimum just to get an idea where the market is for asking prices on it. Then look at how many white Daytonas are online for sale, how many black Daytonas are online, people trying to sell them all around the same price. You've got to be slightly less than every other asking price to get that. Gotcha. I did get my other Daytona in, platinum Daytona with the baguette dial, and that's brand new, unworn. It's a new car, you know, from last month. Okay. What are those going for? What are those going for? Z, Platinum Baguette's brand new right now. Damn. Sheesh. Yeah, they dropped a lot. Uh, Platinum. 150 to 160. One brand new? Brand new. Damn. Yeah. yeah, they dropped a ton. You gotta, here's one thing to remember, though. Prices went from, if you think back to October of 2021. The Baguette Daytonas were sitting comfortably around 140, 150. By Christmas, they're up over 200. By January, they're like 220, 230. Regular dials are at 175. They went up 50,000, $60,000 in a matter of four months. That's, that's not a real price. And they, did, they do that because of the speculation that had been getting discontinued in March which they didn't, which is the same thing that happened the prior year. If you remember, you remember I bought like five of the Baguette Daytonas and I bought four or five, six yellow, gold, green John Mayer Daytonas? Yep, yep. We, we did that back in January, February, and we sat there and held them, again, with speculation that they were gonna get discontinued and the prices would jump up even further. Well, neither of those got discontinued, so the prices dropped back down. So now prices are where they at. Prices are now where they were back in October of last year, but they're still up from the previous October. I would, I would actually advise you reach out to a couple guys and just see what they offer you. I can bet you're going to get an offer around like 110, 120 on the baguette. On the white Daytona, they're going to want to be around high 20s. The black Daytona, mid 20s. Maybe, no, you're not going to get 30. 
not from a wholesale right now. One more watch to ask you about. I got a platinum uh, day date with a meteorite dial with baguettes. And the reference number is 228206 platinum. Yeah, meteorite, with, meteorite dial with baguettes. Uh, brand new 2022, they sell around 120. To, uh, I've seen as high as 130. Your range, your range on that one, it's a, it's a broad range because there's a few of them that have been offered out and those seem to keep, I, I've been offered a couple of those in the last couple of months. I mean, it's a big range, but your range is anywhere from 120 to 130. I guess last one as I uh, round out my, my questions here. So sure. I'm looking at a Nautilus 5712 from uh, October of 2020. Stainless steel, Nautilus. On a bracelet? Yeah, on a bracelet, 5712, October 2020. All papers in box and all that stuff. Somebody listed one today for 127. That's a 2011. Oh, they're, giving it, they're giving it away. Shit. That's a 27. Here's a 2013 for 115. Uh, and that's that's Roman. Um, I would say to an end user, somewhere <clears throat> between 125 and 130. Well, I don't know. If you were me, would you keep the... Uh, I was thinking of selling my two Daytonas so I keep the platinum one. Or, or I sell my platinum day date, the meteorite dial with diamonds, but um, what do you think? I would probably say the platinum. I think the Daytonas are down right now, and the closer you get to Christmas, they're going to go back up a little bit more. The platinum, it's, it's still up. It's down from what it was, but when you think about the comparison of the white and black Daytona, like those going up 10 grand more, would be the equivalent of the platinum going up 40 grand. I don't see the platinum going up 40 grand, but I do see the white and black Daytonas going back up the closer we get to Christmas. Right, and you think we can get how much for that day date with the meteorite? You're thinking I'm, 130 maybe? The, the range, I would start at 130. The range is 120 to 130. All right, I'll be in touch. And a watch like that's hard to say how long it would sit, but if I put it on consignment with you, any idea? Less than, a, less than a month. As long as we establish a, a baseline price that you're willing to walk away with and be open to offers. A lot of times people send me stuff on consignment and they're just, you know, they're set on their price, which is fine. But with our social media exposure, if something doesn't sell in the first five or six days, it's, it needs to be lowered in price. Uh, if, you, yeah. if we establish a baseline, I have some negotiating room and I can get it moved. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? This is Anthony Fair. What's going on? What's up, buddy? Yeah, man, so just to give you some uh, some context on kind of what happened, man, is, you know, I'm, I'm maybe 7% wholesale, man. I don't, I don't really do the retail side of things. So whenever I wholesale a watch uh, and it doesn't doesn't go, I will send it to Jay. Okay. To retail on his platform on Chrono. Now, I okay. did not know, and this is something I have to discuss with him. I did not know he was offering it in dealer chats. Uh, okay. Which I, I can put watch dealer chats you know what i mean right like I, you know what i mean so i that's a conversation for me and him to have but the the issue now is you know whenever i send him a watch he does his thing he takes professional photos you know he does his work to get it you know quote unquote retail ready so i have to pay him for that so the 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 56.5 price that i gave when i was wholesaling you know, I just, I typically will pay him a thousand dollars for his work on, on that side. You know, obviously his card on fees and shit like right. that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm cool to do it, man. He, with, with the plus, the plus one K to pay him and I'll still honor the wholesale price. That's, that's perfect, man. I appreciate that. And yeah, it was just confusing earlier because there, what spawned all this really was yesterday, uh, my guy that you were, that you've been talking to, my sales guy. We, we found a watch and I got the guy on the phone and I said, hey, look, I have a client flying in tomorrow just to pick up this watch. He's trading me a piece in and then he's going to pay me when he sees it in his hand. And I asked him, I was like, the only thing I need to ask you is, you know, just say he pays me in the wire at the latest doesn't hit in time for me to wire you out. Give me till Thursday morning. I'll pay you. But either way, it's either going to be tomorrow or Thursday. I made it clear I needed the watch here today. And he right. just didn't ship it. And so I told him, well, you know, it's, you know, he didn't ship the watch. And I told him, I was like, well, I needed it today. It's going to piss my client off and make me look like an asshole. And he's like, well, it's okay. We mazzled. I'll just ship it today. And I was like, no, we don't have a mazzle. Like, I'm, I'm not buying your watch because you didn't deliver on what I told you yesterday. 
Right. So they're they're throwing a fit in in one of the wholesale groups right now. I, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that uh, a couple hours ago. I told him, I was like, dude, you can't, you can't. If I call you and I'm on a time constraint to get a specific watch, and I say yes, I'm as all. I'll take it here. I'll pay you tomorrow. You don't just decide, okay, I'll ship it when I'm ready, and we still have a deal. That's not how it works. Right. So, right. If you can ship it out today, I'll send you a label right now. Do Do you need me to wire you today, or can I wire you tomorrow? Just because I've already dealt with this once. Are, are you cool? I mean, are you cool with the wire today? I can invoice you now, and I can get, I can have the watch shipped out today. That's today, send today me we'll ship it out. send me your company info real quick. Let me do a, a quick reference check with somebody. Yep. And then yep. I'll send you a label right now and I'll queue up a wire. And I'll send you a screenshot of the wire. 2019 complete, right? Retail 29, ready? 2019 complete. It has aftermarket stickers installed. So Perfect. if you pull the aftermarket stickers off, it probably will be new. But I can't confirm because I didn't want to pull the stickers off. Perfect. All right. Thank you, buddy. Yep. I appreciate Later. it. Bye. If you want to go ahead and raise a bunch of shit in the wholesale groups and blast me for breaking a deal, go ahead and just block my number and we will never do business again. You broke the deal by not delivering after I specifically said I needed the watch today. So go cry all you want. <laughs> like, dealers are so <laughs> they're so <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> Post it on there. They're a bunch of whiny bitches anyway. Like, I mean, they put they pick pick which deals you want to police and then and don't police the other ones. And then just because it's someone like me. You, you get stuck with a watch and you, you think you can just you can commit to it and you don't deliver your end, but I still have to deliver mine? No, it's not how it works. And if they have a problem with it, they can f off. All right, so today we are looking at office space. We're actually kind of going back to my original idea, which whenever I first came here, the idea was get a small office, build it from the ground up, kind of like I did back in Dallas. Honestly, I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna look at this space. We're gonna look at two other buildings and then multiple units in some of the spaces to kind of figure out which direction we wanna go. Something just big enough to showcase or like to house all of the employees. Small showroom, small little lounge. That's it, very basic, very simple. Keeping the overhead low. Uh, so yeah, come on. Just signed a letter of intent. I've submitted application financials. They're gonna get back with me. The cool thing is that and they're gonna sublet it to us. So we're gonna do a two year, two year, three month lease at a much, much more affordable rate. Whenever I furnish the Dallas office, I love the all black look. Throw in some plants, a little bit of paint, a little bit of art, and you've got just what you need. But it's not done until there's a contract. So hopefully in the next couple days we'll get that done and we can start moving stuff in by next week. It's at the end of Rodeo Drive, right behind the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Oh, nice. So you can walk out, walk out your door, you walk one block, one block, and you're on Rodeo Drive. So it's like Rodeo and Wilshire? Yes. It is. These are sold. I want to get a storage box for the necklace and the bracelet on this. And then this is sold, so it needs, it needs to get shipped out today. It's been paid for. Mm -hmm. This um, is sold. i got to send pictures real quick. I, I think potentially, I've got a guy wanting to trade a new key for that, but I think we're too far off in price. That's sold something. Sold something. 16613 Blue Dial Gold 3 Class. Gold 3 Class is also sold. Pending. Pending sales waiting for a wire. I sold. Uh, Pending sales waiting for a wire. All those are? Yeah. I've got this. 
fully bust down Cuban on the white gold, is sold. And we got the Cuban necklace also sold as a package for 25000 and 9000 so 34000 in a pair. Those are pretty cool. I like that. Like, I want to yeah, get more jewelry. Yeah, really pretty. This, my favorite watch in our inventory, is the 59, or 5980-1R. Paddock, it's a 2020, brand new. It has the old style clasp. Some of you guys, if you've never, if you've never understood what the, you'll hear people say old clasp or old buckle, new buckle. The old clasp has this little flip lock and then you pull it up. So when you close it, it's got this uh, extra safety mechanism. I don't know the actual term for it, but that's what it is. It's got a, an extra flip lock there for safety. The new style clasp looks like this where they close. It's just a butterfly clasp and they close evenly. Just like that. So, if you ever hear new style or new buckle, old buckle, that's what they're referring to on the paddocks. There you go. Date this. This 36 millimeter, 16234. 116234. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, so we're laughing. Y'all can't see uh, his face behind there because it's funny. Every time we're like the shotgun mic we have on here, it picks up everything. Whenever he's filming and Z's around, it's like I'm talking and Z's just like. <laughs> anyway, 116, 234, 36 millimeter, black Roman dial, hidden style clasp. Unisex watch can be men's, women's, you choose. Oh, I bet this is the GMT. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the watch that was causing us all the problems this week. It's a Rolex GMT Master 2, reference 116718LN. Black ceramic bezel, green dial, discontinued in 2019. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, it comes to the light. What do you guys like better, the green dial or blue? I love this much. You can't really tell from looking at a distance, but these stickers, they fill it out more. See, mine, I actually have it on mine too, which is a service we're going to be offering soon. You can get your watch completely stickered up. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna find out what sticker set that is because that yeah. one you can barely notice. Mine, it was a cheap little set on Amazon just practicing. Still does the job, but you can clearly see the difference in these stickers versus these which are a little short. I think I may have used the wrong set, obviously. I bet these are for a Daytona. Yeah. sent me these two watches he has the 5980 2020 brand new old buckle and the 5164 2019 uh, like new but it's pre-owned been worn complete set uh, he wants to sell both of these and, and roll it into a 5990 blue dial so market value is gonna be a tricky trade uh, market value on the 5980 is 250 to 260 on the 5164 is around 125 to 130. If I can get these sold, it'll be enough margin to roll in. I can buy a 5990 for around 350 to 360. So we'll see. He wants to do an even swap. Whatever I can make in the difference is, is on me. So we'll see. Heavy hitter. Very heavy hitter. I've been looking for this watch for two months. I don't know why it's so hard to find some of the entry level stuff. Oh my god. This is the sole order? What can I Dude, it's supposed to be pre owned f***ing Bro. Oh, this is why I f***ing hate wiring for watches. Because I don't literally put out a call for I need pre-owned mint complete this is short like six links and it's got a chunk taken out of the bracelet look at that like, can you zoom into that this is not pre-owned mint complete when it's missing a chunk out of a bracelet like that hello hey what's up dude I got the brightling and the bracelet's short like three or four links and there's a chunk missing out of one of the links. I put out a call for a watch that was pre-owned mint complete, and this is not pre-owned mint complete. It's, I mean, like I'll send you a picture, but it's definitely short, like three or four links, 
and there's a massive chunk taken out of, like it looks like somebody jumped out of a plane with this thing. So can I just send this back or are you refund me or something because I, I can't use this watch. You have, I mean, do you have the box and do you have like all the links or is this just how it comes? Honestly, I pulled it as is. You, you put it, I, I'm not trying to give a different you, watch and I posted what I had. And I sent you a video or a picture of it, and, you know, as is. Yeah, but you only sent me a picture of it in the box. You didn't tell me that there was like a chunk missing out of the... I think it, I, I think it can be polished and restored, obviously, but... You know, I'm working. I'm working on a small platform watch. I pay 5,500 for that watch. Um, well, I'm gonna have to buy like at least three. I mean, this won't even fit. Uh, I think I might have some links for it. I can check if it's the, if the links the issue, then then it's fine. But if if you can't use it, that's not about. I'm gonna see if my guy has extra links and what they're gonna cost me because I'll need at least three more links. Do you have any Breitling boxes? I mean, if you can make this a full. If you can make it a full set for me, then I'll keep it because I've been looking for this watch for like a month. Just hang up. That's why I don't like to pay for stuff up front. Yeah, what up, buddy? Anthony, what's up, Good morning. Good morning. Do you have Breitling links in stock or do you know where to get them easily? I have a couple of them. It just depends on the models. If it's a new model, I don't have. If it's older model, like Navitimer, Super Avengers and stuff like that, I might have a couple. It's a, it's a newer model Bentley, so it's like that five prong link. Yeah, the one that has it all slanted in between, yep. like three in between. Yep, I'm about to go downtown and look. I'm going to see if I can find some down there. Uh, but I, I'll send you a picture right now of the exact link. I'll tell you what, I'll just bring it to you here in a minute. I've got another watch I need to bring by Polish. Um, I'll just bring it to you and drop it off and I need it. I need to get it polished cleaned up But then I need to make it to where it'll fit like an eight and a half inch wrist. All right I'll bring this by here in a little bit. I'll text you when I'm on my way Okay, no worries. All right. Thank you Bye what is it? Yeah, that's the blue one. Is it a one one or one two? One two six one one two six two one two six six two two. It's a new reference, okay? One two six six two two new reference Yacht Master 40 blue dial is this, this is new? December 2024. Yes. So it's not. Well, it's, it looks new. Liz and I have to go downtown. I've got to find links in a box to make that a full set. I've got to find a watch roll for my client that's coming to pick up the GMT today. I need a necklace and a bracelet. Got something to ship it in properly. The shitty thing is, is that people are really sensitive for filming down there, so I'd love to take the camera and we may take it with us to walk, but like, we can't film like the fun part of going on the hunt inside the store, so. Oh, what's up, my bro? My name is Godbody. Godbody? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> How much is the clock now? Whatever one for you got. Well, just whatever bill I pull out first. Oh, God, please, God, let it be a 20, because that's what I need up for the guy. Hello, here. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, sir. my desk. <laughs> Living proof is a God. You already know this one is the death of the Lord's creation, and me and you and you. Ah! 